All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. Time to bring out the ranks. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Sadiano The Third. Y'all guys are The Third Family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, consider becoming part of the family after the video by clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now I done watched the entire cypher. I done put out two videos, one for the first six, second for the, for the last seven, and I done broke the bars down and tried to get an understanding of who these artists are based off of this cypher. And I've got my list compiled. It's a tie right now for last seed. It's a tie between Mercules and sorry to say it, Crypt. Literally the two reasons why I refrain from doing YouTube rap like beef and YouTube rap music on my channel is because of the two pitfalls, disses and fast spitting just for the sake of fast spitting. And both of them fell into each one of those traps. Crypt's entire verse was a subliminal diss or like taking shots like petty shots around somebody as, a, as opposed to going directly at them. And in the verse, he talks about the like how they were taking petty shots at him. Like you can't do what you're talking about not doing and again this is not going to stand the test of time because this the cypher is supposed to be kind of just like a freestyle just going off the top with the best shit that you got i don't want to hear about no fucking petty youtube beef and then also fell into the fast spit flow at the very end and again another thing that turns me off to it and then fucking mercules just the same shit just you know like fast spit fast spit fast spit and that's it some bars here and there but not really just spitting for the sake of spit next up we got dax unfortunately dax belongs in the lower portion of this free style of this cypher because the way that his production was done and because of the way that his fast spit was done. His delivery and his enunciation and the texture of his voice doesn't allow for the same flexibility for fast spit as other rappers on this list. So whenever he tries to go too fast, the shit just gets completely unlistenable. Like even if there were bars in there, I wouldn't ever want to go back and listen to that again. And I'm not saying this as a hater, I've become a fan of Dax over the last couple, like probably about month and a half as I've been listening to his original music but this one right here didn't do it for me even if there was bars in there because even with the lyrics on screen I was like what the fuck is he saying next up on the list we got crank Lucas crank Lucas had like a little swag and everything but I, there wasn't really anything that was being said that was inventive or that was really yo that went fucking hard I didn't have that moment with his verse next up after that we have Ashton Laurel I think that's how his last name is pronounced I liked his swag and his voice and his flow but I don't think he utilized the cypher in the way that he needed to utilize the cypher. He didn't need to be talking about the chip on his shoulder about, oh, they saying that I'm a mumble rapper now. And he definitely didn't need to say that because that's automatically going to kind of make me turn off to his to his verse. He should have just used it to go in, prove to people who have never listened to him before why he's listenable, you know, and he didn't do that for me. So he's next up on the list. Next up on the list, unfortunately, we got Dilemma. This is just my take. He was good, but some stuff was a little too regional, which is fine. But whenever you're on a track like this, where a lot of people are going to be listening that have never listened before, some of the bars are going to go over people's heads if you make them too regional. But he did have bars in there so I appreciate that for sure so that's why he's kind of like middle of the pack for me now from this point on the list on up I was pretty impressed with everybody's verses now I just have to rank them in order of what I thought about their verses and this right here is probably where I would put echo echo is up there in terms of like I liked it the cutoff for for criticism versus like there's a little bit of criticism but I liked it more than I can criticize it's right here at echo and echoes verse was was good it was just good like I mean that that's all there is to it I, I liked it but it's not gonna blow me out the water in the way that the people above him are. Next up, we got Feral the Earthworm. That shit was fucking dope because he wasn't really coming out with any crazy bars, but he was talking about the conundrum that is his life. He's a he's a fucking hermit crab, but see, he also wants to fucking get to the bag. That shit was that shit was dope because a lot of people relate to that. A lot of people relate to the fact that they don't want to live the normal lifestyle, but they know they sort of have to just to make sure that they can survive in the real world. And his swag and the fact that he filmed it in his van and they had videos of him like skateboarding and all that shit. That was fucking tight. I just like the I just like the whole concept of who he is as an artist. The best rapper? Nah. The best bars? Nah. But all around, he's sticking true to self, and I can appreciate that. Now, next up right here, we have Samad Savage. Now, Samad Savage went in. Again, this is a cipher, so this is the time to show people who have never listened to you before that you're capable of, of going fucking in, which he definitely did show, but it was almost like too much to the extreme, if that makes sense. So I'm criticizing him for going too much 
much to the extreme in terms of the rhyme scheme and the speed, but the speed is in a way that it doesn't fall victim to what I was talking about with Crypt and Mercules. Basically, I was mad impressed with his skill and mad impressed with his flow, but it would take even me multiple and multiple listens without the words right there in order to get what he's saying. And I kind of think that that, that goes against what you should be doing in a, in a cypher. Harness that, but at the same time, make it, make it enjoyable for your everyday casual listener. Next up after that, I still haven't decided, so it's kind of a tie for the next two spots between Futuristic and 100 Kufis. Their verses were fucking fire. I think I like 100s more because I like his vocal tone. I, like, I, mean, I think it fit better on top of the beat that was selected, but Futuristic went in on a couple of his bars for sure. But I think that I liked 100 Kufis' bars more so than Futuristic's. But Futuristic shit was definitely up there, deserves to be in the position that it is. And here we are at the top two. And spot number two is gonna belong to King Blitz. King, you fucking did the damn thing. You were on the throne, fam. Your shit was fire. Your voice is dope. Your swag in your voice, the bars, the way that you write them. You don't go for that fast fit shit. You kind of just do your own style and it works really well and it worked really well with the beat here. But that girl Carly X just came in and fucking annihilated everybody. And I'm not even giving her a fucking curve because she's a girl. Her fucking verse was probably the best on the fucking, on this cypher. The fact that she's a female and the only female in this fucking cypher just is a fucking icing cherry on top, the whole shit, the whole cliche phrase. If she were a dude in a list of all other guys, all other male rappers in this cypher, her verse would still be on top. And that's what I got to say about that. And you're probably wondering like, yo, Ernest, no life shack, what the fuck happened? I don't even rank him amongst these. He's doing his own thing over here as the fucking two million, two million subscriber reactor. I can't rank no life shacks bars against YouTube rapper bars because YouTube rapper bars are serious about their craft. Shaq is kind of just doing it for fun, but still spitting a little bit. If I wanted to rank Shaq in there, he'd probably be toward the middle only because his bars, the people who are below him should have had better verses than they did and they should have had better verses than Shaq because he's not a rapper. But that pretty much ends today's video, ladies and gentlemen. This list video is obviously separate from the actual two videos. So if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about with this list, go watch those two or go watch the cypher and make your own list and come back here. But if your list is the same, dope. If it's not the same, dope. Let me know if it's not the same and why it's not the same and why I rank people too low or too high. I'll be replying to all that shit. But follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel links in the description below. Hit up the Discord. I was chatting about this in the Discord earlier today. So hit up there if you want to talk to me. But that pretty much ends today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your time. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.